Right then, this is Sheila. I've come to a junction point, that black rock. I've just come down that wibbly wobbly path very carefully. It's quite dangerous and slippery. That leads you to the other side of the gorge, up on the south side. Now here's a walk I've I've really missed. I've been doing this for years and I took it for granted I'd always be able to come out here. The post office man in Cheddar told me that it's two councils, refu one, both refusing to put a link in, making it extremely difficult because somebody's probably making money out of that West Link. Now if you ask me, it's a complete waste of time. It must be costing them loads of money. When he picked me up, a 16-seater, he just picked me up. No one else. He took me all the way to Expres. Now I still have to wait three quarters of an hour. I'm video. I hope this is videoing everyone. Because I've got a dodgy memory card in the new camera. So it failed to let me see two of my videos, what I did on a walk recently. I don't really want to use it at all, but I brought it for an emergency. And I'm, I'm using the little Sony, which won't do photos, doing the little video. I've just got to test it's working. And this little Sony has got loads of batteries. Three or four batteries, it never won't run out at all. So we're going along this path that used to be like a stream. This used to be bumpy. Here. Oh, have they stopped people going up there now? Oh yeah, they're not letting you look because of Ashtray back. I've been up there loads of times at the top. It's because you can spread it, you see. On your clothes, your feet. And not only that, the trees can fall on you. They just suddenly just fall over. I heard one, a big crash once when I was in Longwood, and it did make me think, oh God, it's a bit dodgy. Anyway, this is the 20th of July, 2023. I don't know what video it is, because I haven't done lots of videoing, and not for long times, because um, the batteries are low on the new camera. I wasn't able to charge it up very well where I'm camping. Bit of a surprise really that they haven't got a proper charging facility. It does seem a bit weird. I think they take it for granted that everyone's got their own. Well you have if you've got a car. You have if you've got a camper van. They forget about the campers. They also need to, in fact, even more so need to be able to charge their phones up. This is, I don't know what I'm going to be like at the end of this walk, folks, because I think I said earlier that since that last COVID jab I had about nearly two years ago, and I've heard other people, including my ex, say the same thing, it's made him weak. It's not because we're getting old. Something happened. It happened within a week of me having that last jab. And it didn't go away like a tiredness that I never used to have before and an energy I had that's trying to shove drugs in you all the time now look, there's a gate there why haven't they put that on that one look no sign on that one there's Ash die back it's all over the place anyway this is called Black Rock and up here is a uh, quarry. Now I'm using this camera for video when we go to Velvet Bottom and I'm using the new ca little camera for photos. I didn't bring the Kodak but it's too heavy and bulky so that'll only come out on day trips. I mean this is a day trip but I'm actually having to carry all my stuff. The reason I'm going home early tomorrow instead of sitting Friday night is because it's going to get colder and my tent will be drenched 
by, um, by the downpours that are coming on Saturday. So this is new, a little seat. So I'm going to stop here actually. There's probably more of them, let me see. No, I'm going to wait till I get to the quarry. I'm going to have to get the water out. I have videoed this many times everyone. But this is a different year. This is a different time. There's different things happening in the world. Not a very nice world in many ways. Violent. It's always been violent, I think. Looking back at the history of the Vikings, the Normans, the Romans, and other people, tribes in other countries. That's the kiln. And this place always reminds me of a charge of light brigade. This and Velvet Bottom. You can imagine, cannons to the right of you, cannons to the left of you. Onward rode the 500. Good ambush territory, this. Now, what are they doing up there? That looks, yeah, I, I've never done that, but you can climb up there. I'm going to go up there now. I'm just going to go up there, up to the quarry. See, if I was on the bus, if I was on the bus thing, I'd only be able to do this and go back round to Cheddar. I wouldn't be able to do the extras. I don't even know if I'm fit enough to do them. I don't know, really. A dog was killed a couple of years ago, which I've mentioned on in the past. He ran off the top and died fell. It's best not to get too close to the quarry because you get you get landslides here. And big chunks coming down. They can sometimes propel themselves over as well. When they land, they can roll. But I have seen people climb up there. A lot of people do it. Very carefully, of course. But it's still dangerous because cracks, could easily whole loads could come away. So you're not advised to. You've got to use common sense. Right, I'm just going to stop here, actually, and find some water. And as I said, I have been all around these hills. Everywhere. I knew every inch of this place. Looks to me like there's a cow up there, but I don't know if there is, but it just looks like a cow, but it might not be. Right up there. They have a lot of black cows lately, I've noticed. Right, I'll just turn it off for a minute. Right then, this is um black rock area. Full of geology here and history. And we're coming up to walk up what's called Velvet Bottom now. There's a, a nice little mound there. It's like a little pixie mound, isn't it? Or a hobbit mound. People sit there for their picnics. It could even be a burial mound, you know. Or it might all be to do with the mining. Because we're entering Victorian and Roman mining areas now. So that could be all to do with that. Now if you I'll be going up there later. From Brimstone and Meadow Saffron. Wild Tyne. By 
no, Eyebright, that's called Eyebright. That's a new noise you hear now when people carry their water swishing in the back. Right then, so we're leaving that area and we're going up another area that I always think of as Charge of the Light Brigade territory. Cannons to the left of you, cannons to the right of you, onward road the 500. I got a feeling I used to know it all once. We were we're always being told that that poem. There's a way I might come through later. I might come through that depending if there are cows or not. Right, time for hat. Time for hat. Now this what I remember about this walk is heat. I have done it both ways in the heat. Do you know, it seems like last week I was here, you know, because I've, like I said, I've done it so many times. I've deliberately chosen a long walk. Because there's no way I want to be sat round in a campsite. You can see people there. Why didn't they stay at home? Do you know what I mean? They're sat there. Sunbathing. Okay, they might have done some visiting as well, but... And they're surrounded. It's not, not as if they're on their own. They're surrounded by other, loads of other caravans. People doing their barbecues. Tellies on. All not competing, but sharing information about the latest thing they've got on their on their caravan. So it's going to be a long, hot walk. I will be doing videos with the other camera. And I'm getting ready to charge it up, because it's not going to be long. There's a couple of dodgy clouds, but they're quite high up. There's no wind. Well, there's a bit of a breeze. And uh, it's lovely, so I'm just going to turn off now. I'll just get up to this little tree and then I'll take some photos. Over and out.